Hey guys, it's your girl Pixie, and I'm back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome to Pixie's World. If you guys are not new, welcome back. Today's video is going to be about not being patient, but being persistent. But before we get into the video, guys, please like, please share, please subscribe, and please comment, and please be sure to follow me on all my social media platforms. Okay, today, guys, um, basically, I'm going to be talking about how you know how the saying goes be patient everything will come to you be patient you will get yours i'm here to tell you that no guys you can't be patient you got to be persistent you have to be patient in your persistence but no action is not going to get you nowhere just waiting just waiting it's like you have to wait patiently within your actions you have to be patient within your actions but just waiting around um if you guys watch most of my videos, I tell y'all waiting around, don't wait on nobody, don't hate on nobody. There's no elevator to your dreams. There's no fire escape. Like, you got to work hard for everything. Um, a lot of you guys don't know me personally, but I have been through hell and back. Friends, fake friends, roommates, people trying to turn my house into a whorehouse, a drug house, taking advantage I got, you know, attacked by my friends, girlfriends, you know, and I'm not here to say that, you know, my struggle is any better or less than anybody, but I'm just go saying to say, you know, I grew through a lot, you know, my mom passed away, I'm a mother, I have an 11 year old kid, you know, I'm in my early 30s, and you know, just growing pains and just stuff that you, you know, um, just life, you know. Um, like I said, I'm not here to say mine is greater or less than anybody, but I'm just here to, um, you know, just tell you guys to just keep being persistent. Um, so if you guys don't know anything about me, um, I've been on a weight loss journey. I've been on a pole journey. I've just been on a journey to advance my skills, nails, um, not so much hair. I do do hair, but nails and sewing and stuff like that. And, um, guys, I started with nothing, you know. I started not knowing anything about pole. I wasn't good at it. I wasn't nothing at it, you know what I mean? I was bigger. I was a dancer, you know. I was on the bigger side of being a dancer, you know what I mean? And, you know, I'm, not, I'm on a fitness journey. I'm not all the way where I was supposed to be. But this is a motivation for myself and you guys as well to just do the work and just go through the pain once you go through you know just the hard part it just starts getting easy they say 30 days makes a habit and 90 days is where you see results so if you can get through the 30 days and then you know if the third, first 30 days is going to be the hardest you know what i mean but once you get into the the 90 days it's, it's not no now it's not a habit it's a lifestyle you know what i mean that's three months of your life so um whatever you guys are doing start today you know like i said i've been getting into drawing and you know um i had a lot of i had a lot of goals that i wanted to achieve and um my first my first goal was to go natural was to go natural with my hair and um you know i went through what i went through with my hair and i stuck through that for a year and when I that was in like 2019 and when I um got through that year of that it made me say okay if I could do this for a year imagine what else I could do for a year and slowly but surely you know I've been I started doing nails and now I've been doing nails for two years I'm pretty good at it I started my pole journey about just like taking it really seriously maybe like it's, 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 it'll be two years next month um maybe a year and a half two years you know i took a break from it took months off about two years um uh what else I, my, my natural hair i've been natural for about three years now i, I want to say it's like the fourth year that's amazing um i started my art this year I, i've only been doing that for about a month or so you know but i see that I'm getting good at it. I'm getting skillful at it. Um, what else? Um, just I'm, I've been on a weight loss journey for a little while now. 
Sometimes I fall off track, but overall, like, I'm really proud of myself. And um, just, um, what else do I got going on, y'all? I just, a lot, even savings, you know, that that's something new for me. I just started reading books again in, in May, and I've read, like, 11 or 12 books since May. Um, you know, I'm just starting to, you know, I, I feel like every year or so or every six months or so, I have to take a re. Uh, a restart and it's okay to restart your life but like I said whatever it is that you're doing just keep going you know I've been doing my outfits I haven't been as consistent with my outfits as I as I should be but I'm just going to keep going I'm going to keep persistent I'm going to keep um going don't sit around and wait for nothing don't wait for nobody don't wait for none of your friends don't wait for nobody to come along um patience is not going to make it happen guys it's just not going to happen have patience in your system um and another thing guys if if your life if you want to make a change in your life and you feel like oh everything is going bad everything it's not the right time it's not the right this i'm already broke i ain't got the money whatever the case may be you already fucked up and already if you already broke you can't be broker you know what i mean it if you can't be fat, you if you fat, you can't be fat. It don't matter how much extra it is. It, fat is fat, that is that. You know what I mean? So it's like, why not take the risk to try to get out of it? Like, like I said, if it's already bad, you usually can't get any worse. So you might as well um, take the risk. Don't sit around and wait for nobody, guys. Don't hate on nobody. Don't wait on nobody. If you haven't seen my video to that, guys, don't hate on nobody. Don't wait on nobody. Um, it has definitely been a journey, guys. I really don't have a lot of friends. I used to get lonely more then than I do now, but I'm not really that lonely no more. You know, I'm finding stuff to be like, guys, like I'll be at work with coworkers. I can't wait to go home and rush to get to read a book or to go to the gym or spend some of your time. You know what I mean? But also in the same time, like. I want to meet good people, but I've been learning to 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 meet. I've been really getting blessed with meeting really quality people. Um, I started going back to church maybe about a month and a half ago, guys, and um, just everything. Like I said, I am still on a slow journey, but I'm still going. You know what I mean? Of course, I would like to intensify it. Of course, I would like to level up. You know, of course, I want to do more. But I just didn't quit. I just haven't stopped, you know. It took me two years to get good at pool. I probably could have been a little more persistent. I probably could have been doing it a little bit more often. But I've been doing it and I'm getting very good at it. And it's only up from now. My nails, you know. I've been doing nails for two years. I didn't do it consistently. I don't get a lot of clients. But I'm getting good at it. Um, my natural hair, like I was very consistent with that in the beginning and then I got kind of I fell off but I'm getting back on it you know what I mean and just everything like um just everything guys I don't care what it is I don't care if it's losing weight I don't care if it's building a skill I don't care if it's learning a language I don't care if it's reading a book just just put your one percent in everything like I said don't be patient be persistent I don't care if it's a half a percent put your percent in everything every day if you do one push-up today and then you do seven by next week that's something that's seven more push-ups than you did last week um make your weeks different make your days different grow every year you want to be doing something different than you did the year before that's 365 days that's like 52 weeks i think guys uh, i don't don't quote me on that but um that's, that's that's a million chances to make a dollar every day, you know what I mean? If you didn't make a dollar today, make a dollar tomorrow. You went to the club and it was a bad day today, make it tomorrow, make another day tomorrow. Don't let yesterday define today. Don't let today define tomorrow, you know what I mean? Prepare for your future, plan for your future, but don't get stuck because things don't go according to plan and you have to plan for your plan not to go according to plan. Uh, but just still... Give your 1% every day. Cry, give your 1%. Take a nap, give your 1%. Wake up late, give your 1%. Give your 1% in everything you do. I don't care if you draw a line, a dot, or a circle. Put your 1% in everything y'all do. Um, 
I'm going to make this video too long. I think I said what I need to say, guys. Um, like I said, have patience in your persistence. Patience is key to watch your growth. If you don't have patience, you're going to give up on yourself. So definitely have patience. But be persistent in your patience. You can't wait to be skinny and wait to lose weight and be like, oh, when I lose two pounds, when I leave, I'm going to be snatched. Like, what are you going to do to be snatched? You know what I mean? You can't wish snatchness on you. So, even if you're paying to get snatched, you can't get snatched. Talk about a dollar you think you're going to get or you shouldn't go get. Go get that dollar. Go get that money. Go get that dream. Go get that. But um, you already know what I'm going to say next. Please pray to God. Please protect y'all. Peace. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Mwah.